RX Sight's Light Adjustable Lens, or RXLAL, addresses the challenge of predictability by providing cataract surgeons with the ability to non-invasively modify the refractive power of the lens after the lens has been implanted and the eye has healed with the quick and painless in-office application of UV light using the proprietary RX Sight light delivery device. This offers the ability to optimize a patient's vision after the cataract is removed and the eye has stabilized, essentially delivering a custom refractive correction to the IOL. Light adjustability of the lens is based on the principles of photochemistry and diffusion. RX Sight's light adjustable lens incorporates proprietary silicone photoreactive additives called macromers, which are distributed throughout the lens. When light is directed to a specific area of the lens, macromers in the path of light attach to the ends of other macromers, forming polymers. The remaining unreacted macromers physically diffuse into the exposed area, causing a highly predictable change in the shape of the lens and a refractive power change of the RXLAL. The light treatment can simultaneously be directed to perform spherical and cylindrical adjustments to the lens. As long as there are untreated macromers, further adjustments to refine the correction can be made by applying light to different areas of the lens. When the adjustment process has been completed to the satisfaction of doctor and patient, the entire lens is exposed to the treatment light to polymerize all remaining macromers, effectively locking them in place to prevent any further changes. Prior to surgery, routine preoperative measurements for monofocal base power selection are performed. The RXLAL is implanted with a proprietary injector through a small clear corneal incision into the capsular bag using standard surgical techniques for a 3P silicone IOL. There is no additional time added to the cataract removal or IOL implantation procedure. Following implantation and during the healing and light treatment process, the patient must wear ultraviolet protective glasses during all waking hours to avoid incidental exposure of the RXLAL to UV light. UV glasses, which will be provided by RX Sight, are required as the RXLAL is sensitive to UV light until all the light treatments are completed. When the eye has fully healed, approximately two to three weeks after surgery, the patient returns to the practice to have their vision evaluated. This evaluation determines the type of UV light treatment pattern the doctor will deliver via the office-based light delivery device to create the desired refractive outcome. Adjustment range of the RXLAL is from minus two to plus two diopters of sphere and from minus 0.5 to minus three diopters of cylinder. During the adjustment procedure, which takes approximately 40 to 120 seconds, the patient is dilated and seated at the light delivery device. A proprietary contact lens is applied to the patient's eye to provide visibility of the RXLAL and focusing of the UV beam. Within 24 hours after the initial light treatment, the patient will likely observe a marked visual improvement. Upon returning to the office three to seven days after the initial light treatment, the patient will have their vision re-evaluated, and if needed, the doctor can perform an additional adjustment. Up to three adjustments can be performed. The necessity of additional light adjustment treatments is guided by the LDD and based on achievement of desired outcome. Once the best possible vision has been achieved, the patient returns, and UV light is applied to the entire lens to prevent any further changes. This treatment process, which is approximately 90 seconds in duration, is referred to as lock-in. 24 hours after the RXLAL is locked in, the patient may discontinue wear of the UV protective glasses. No further adjustments or changes to the now customized lens can be performed. The RXLAL can provide significantly better visual outcomes due to the ability to fine-tune the lens after implantation. For doctors, this means increased confidence in hitting refractive targets and improved patient satisfaction. For patients, this means an increased likelihood of achieving the best possible vision.